Hey everybody, Dave from ObamaBirthers.com. Got a question for all you guys out there. If Barack Obama is truly a natural born U.S. citizen, and he has nothing to hide, and all of this is just conspiracy theory, and all of this is just supposed racism, and all of this is just a, you know, it's hype, it's made up, it's just that conservatives and libertarians are mad because we have a liberal president. If that's all it is, well let me ask you this. Why would Barack Obama spend close to a million dollars, a little, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, depending on the reports that were given by the Federal Election Commission, to pay his lawyers so he could be defended in a court of law against all these lawsuits that came up against him concerning his constitutional eligibility? Why would an innocent person or someone who had nothing to hide? Because the, the thing about this here, it's not like a. You hear, you see a lot of cases where you know criminal cases where. If someone is not guilty, they say, they plead they're not guilty. And a lot of the times the evidence shows that they're not guilty, even though you have to have, you have to be proven, you know, have to be proven guilty before, and it, you have to be, in court of law, you have to be proven guilty. Your innocence is presumed. Now, in Barack Obama's case, it's a little bit different because his innocence in regards to his natural citizenship is only presume, pre presumed to a certain extent. Because being that he's a president, and he has to be constitutionally eligible, meaning he has to be 35 years old, which he is, or he has to be a, a resident, he has to be a resident of the United States for at least 14 years, which we assume he has been, and he has to be a citizen. Now, those three requirements, the, the Constitution doesn't strictly say, check those three requirements. It doesn't say, it doesn't say who checks those. But the Constitution does say those three requirements have to be met. So obviously the implication is the American people, the United States Congress, has to vet the candidates that go through a process. So in Obama's case, he has spent all this money on lawyers. He has spent, he has spent a mil, close to a million dollars paying a legal, a legal or a lawyer for a law, a law firm called Perkins Coy. They are an international law firm. Uh, on my website, I just wrote an article about this. I have the actual recorded documents, the transfers, the deposits that he sent in hundreds of thousands of dollars to this legal corporation. You, Perkins Coy is the name of it. Perkins Coy is spelled C-O-I-E. You can look it up on, uh, on Google. And it's just fascinating. You can, but on my website, obombrothers.com, I just wrote an article. And you can view the documents. I, I actually, World Net Daily reported on this. I'm pretty much doing a follow-up story. But you can see I have a document, the images on my page can see all the money Obama has transferred to this corporation. Now, why would someone who's, who is, has nothing to hide, why would he not release not just his birth certificate, original birth certificate, but his records from Occidental College, his records from, Colum I think he went to Columbia, or his records from Harvard Law School? Why would he release his grades? Why would he release one of the reviews that he, he wrote? I mean, just one. Why wouldn't he release all of his background, the, these simple things in his background that are pretty much harmless to any other person? I mean, you look at George Bush. Now, I'm not saying I like George Bush. I didn't like him at all as a president. But let me, let me just ask you this. George Bush, if he released his record, his college records, he released his grades. We all know he was a horrible student. He released those. John McCain, when he was pressed about his birth certificate, people were wondering where he was born. He was born in the Panama. But people wondered where his parents were born and if his parents were foreign citizens. But they came out his dad was in the military. His dad was overseas. That's why he was born in the Panama. And a military base. So, and John is law enforcement birth certificate. Now, if Barack Obama, just just be real honest with yourselves out there. People who are who are trying to call me a racist and people who are trying to say that I'm a crazy and that I'm a conspiracy theorist, just be fair about this. Be rational. Say, if someone accused you, just put yourself in Barack Obama's position. You were running for the president of the United States. Someone's, hey, did you know a requirement for the? Have you read the Constitution? It says you have to be a natural born citizen. Oh, what would you do? You would say, if you're a citizen, no big deal. I'll just get my, I'll get a copy uh, of my long form birth certificate. And if it's sealed by the state of Hawaii, like they say it is, then I'll just have a court order because it's a requirement for the presidency of the United States. Surely the state of Hawaii would understand that, right? If you're innocent, you have nothing to worry about. You get a court ordered, presented, case is over. It doesn't even become an issue. But that didn't happen with Barack Obama. Instead, he has spent literally hundreds of thousands of dollars, or maybe more than a million dollars, depending on all, all the different records and the trackings that, that on, on these legal cases. 
The first major case that he spent money on was Philip Berg, a Democratic lawyer out of Pennsylvania, challenged Barack Obama's eligibility and brought Barack Obama to Supreme Court. He brought Barack Obama to Supreme Court, and Barack Obama's lawyers were able to get it dismissed due to lack of standing. In other words, the Supreme Court judges says they didn't even want to hear the case because they said that Philip Berg, as a Democratic lawyer, as a long-known, well-known Democratic lawyer, didn't have standing, legal standing, to challenge him, that someone else had to challenge him. I guess the Congress has to challenge Obama. They're saying that U.S. citizens can't challenge the president's eligibility. That's what all these judges have said. They haven't, they haven't even dealt, dwelled into the substance of, of the arguments, and that's what's amazing. And that's, see, and people think, you know, you hear these, these, the detractors saying, well, if there was anything in this case, the judges wouldn't have just thrown it out. Not true, because the judges in all these cases have thrown it out pretty much due to lack of standing. And, and they've given no reason why they have a lack of standing. They just say there's no lack of standing. So, there's a lack of standing. But look, my main point is, is that Obama has, his revela the revelations regarding how, uh, let me put it this way. It is a revelation of secrecy on Obama's part, because He's acting guilty. He's acting as a, a someone who is worried about something. Obviously, he's worried about something coming out about his identity. If he is a natural-born citizen, and it all comes out that, uh, by law, he's a natural-born citizen, uh, and he was born in Hawaii, and this and that, he's obviously hiding something about his identity, something he does not want to get out, something that he, find, he would think is harmful to his political future, his political reputation. If, just be serious about this. Why hasn't he... What, Look, everybody knows that, that the thing on his website is a certi certification of live birth. If there's all this stuff in the media, if there's all this, if there's a circus in the media, you have, you're starting to have riots out in these healthcare meetings over his citizenship, and, you know, if you have all these things going on, why would, why would Barack Obama let that go on? Because here's the thing, there is Democrats that are actually questioning Obama's transparency now and his openness. And as he plummets in the polls, Rasmussen polls, go check the Rasmussen polls and Gallup polls, He's, he's falling. And guess what? As he falls in the polls, his constitutional eligibility issue is only going to surface even more. It's going to come to the forefront more because people are going to say, who is this guy? 